to The Door Report. I'm Assistant Director of Legislative and External Affairs, Connie DeMant. Today we're going to talk about some of the latest initiatives at the California Department of Rehabilitation. First up, we'll speak with Chief Deputy Director Junie Lee about the California Promise Project. I'd like to kick off today's report with an update on our exciting research project, CalPromise. The study is sponsored by the U.S. Departments of Education, Health and Human Services, Labor, and the Social Security Administration. The Department of Rehabilitation is a lead agency administering the CalPromise program. We partner with five other state departments and the San Diego State University Inner Work Institute, as well as our local education agencies. CalPromise will help us determine whether early intervention services for youth ages 14 to 16 on SSI will increase self-sufficiency for them or their families. CalPromise, now in its third year, has received an additional $5 million in federal funds. DOR pursued this augmentation in consultation with CalPromise partners and stakeholders. Junie Lee has more. The additional $5 million will be used to strengthen several key aspects for the final three years of our study, such as family resources, coordination of community services, and early intervention of vocational rehabilitation services as well as to expand independent living services in collaboration with schools. Improving education and employment opportunities for youth on SSI and their families is a major priority in California, and so is changing the perception about the possibilities of employment and life without SSI. Sylvia Hoggett, CalPromise Project Manager, spoke with us on CalPromise enrollment progress, project methodology, and goals. California Promise, California Promoting the Readiness of Minors in Supplemental Security Income, is enrolling 3,172 SSI recipients who are age 14 to 16 at enrollment and their families. We're enrolling in areas that have large percentages of SSI recipients. Enrollment for Promise began in August of 2014 and it will continue until April of 2016. And currently, we have enrolled a little over 80% of our target. Through California Promise, we have partnered with local education agencies, school districts, in the areas that have a high concentration of SSI recipients. And then those school districts hire on career service coordinators, who are the staff who do the outreach and recruitment of these students and their families and then they also provide the direct services. Those direct services are benefits planning, service coordination, case management, and then other support services that they might need, for example, parent training and information, or services that the parents might need in order to better support their children. So not only the children receive those services, but the family members can receive those services as well. DOR's VR service delivery teams now include a new team member, Work Incentives Planners, or WIPs. Our WIP program bridges the gap between a person's Social Security benefits and their employment goals. Chief Deputy Director Junie Lee has details. WIPs provide individualized and intensive services to DOR consumers statewide who receive SSI or SSDI. They also inform consumers about other existing community programs and resources available to support their employment efforts and to become self-sufficient. WIPs provide facts in clear and concrete terms and help consumers understand they can earn more money by returning to work. This is a critical factor that enables a consumer to make informed choices about joining the workforce with a full understanding of how employment may impact their benefits. The WIPs have been a successful and impactful addition to our teams. We believe in the strength of collaboration at DOR. WIPs work very closely with many community partners to support consumers in their efforts to achieve employment. The California Department of Rehabilitation, California Department of Education, and California Department of Developmental Services have entered into a new agreement to help make competitive integrated employment 
a reality for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We spoke with Director Joe Xavier about this project, and here's what he had to say. But what the project does is it brings together the three departments. We want the systems to work around the consumers rather than the consumers work around the system so that it's seamless for the consumer, no matter what department they're in, to move into the competitive integrated employment. Competitive integrated employment requires integration, comparable compensation, and opportunity for advancement. Planning documents identifying opportunities for coordination among the three departments were created with stakeholder input. Subject matter expert Lana Frazier talks about stakeholder participation. Work products developed by the SI Interagency Work Group have been shared with stakeholders for input and feedback during the blueprint development process. To gather stakeholder input as part of this process, three facilitated teleconferences have been held. We spoke with consumers, families and advocates, community partners, local education agencies, regional centers, service providers, and business partners. More than 500 people participated in the teleconferences, and additional input has been received via email. The draft blueprint is nearing completion, and after the state-level review, the draft will be posted for public comment. Once the draft is posted, a stakeholder teleconference will be held to allow for additional feedback. DOR has been working with California Department of Human Resources and the State Personnel Board in an effort to promote the hiring of persons with disabilities in state service, improve the reasonable accommodation request process, and enhance the promotion process. Department of Rehabilitation Director Joe Xavier provides an update on this effort. The uh, CalHR Project Partnership started about a year ago. It is sponsored by three departments, the State Personnel Board, California Human Resources Department, and the Department of Rehabilitation. The objective of this project is to increase the number of individuals with disabilities who are within the state's workforce. We have a core group that is leading this effort from all three departments. We also have included uh, members from the union, members from interested organizations, such as the Association of California State Employees with Disabilities, and the work teams have been developing the recommendations to address the number of individuals within the state's workforce. As many of you already know, the Federal Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, WIOA, signed into law in July, makes significant changes to vocational rehabilitation and the independent living program. WIOA emphasizes serving youth with disabilities by providing more opportunities for youth with disabilities. To incentivize the priority to support youth with disabilities, WIOA requires DOR to spend 15% of its budget on pre-employment transitional services, or PETS. The new services to youth will include job exploration counseling, work-based learning experiences, counseling related to post-secondary opportunities, workplace readiness training, and self-advocacy training. Vocational Rehabilitation Policy and Resources Division Deputy Director Jeff Reel explains how DOR will fulfill WIOA requirements to youth with disabilities. We intend to greatly increase the number of high school youth served by the Department of Rehabilitation. And it's important to establish services that meet the unique vocational and academic needs of these students. Both stakeholder input and published research indicates that work experience offered in high school should be our first priority. We are conducting district needs assessments and reaching out to underserved high school districts to explore enhanced work experience opportunities for our students. The department will provide funding for work experience either under contract with local education agencies or through individual authorizations for more than 2,000 students. We're also establishing summer employment activities, such as summer boot camps, and emphasize vocational rehabilitation. We're hopeful that providing students with disabilities with vocational and academic supports at an early age will result in greater number of young adults that are confidently pursuing higher education, quality careers, and independence. DOR works in collaboration with our stakeholders to develop vocational rehabilitation programs for consumers with disabilities but our collaboration doesn't stop there. 
John Kirkham, DOR Chief Information Officer, discusses our cooperative efforts with California Department of Technology aimed to enhance State of California digital access. Yes, we're working with the Department of Technology to update state policy and standards when it comes to web accessibility, including the standards on the Statewide Information Management Manual. We're also working to develop statewide training for the webmasters who look after our websites and for other IT professionals. To go along with that, we're also working to integrate into the review of new information technology projects such as new systems and new products that we want to buy. I know that a lot of this kind of sounds dry, you know, we're talking about policy and we're talking about reviews and so forth, but this work is really important for all Californians with disabilities, including those who have assistive technology use, uh, to make sure that they have access to the digital information provided by the state. And finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our new Deputy Director, Irene Walela, who will tell us a little about herself and her vision for the future. Hi everybody, I'm Irene Walela, and I'm grateful and happy to be here with you today to talk about my new position as Deputy Director for Independent Living and Community Access Division. Our division is shaped by the belief that all communities are fully accessible and integrated so that all persons with disabilities can live, work, and play where and how they choose without barriers. Since 1962, the independent living movement has advanced disability rights in partnership with vocational rehabilitation. With new leadership comes the real opportunity to model the independent living philosophy throughout the Department of Rehabilitation in pursuit of choice and equal access for people with disabilities. It is my pleasure to serve. Thanks for watching the DOOR Report. To leave feedback on this program, please email externalaffairs at dor.ca.gov. Until next time, I'm Connie DeMant for the California Department of Rehabilitation, employment, independence, and equality for all Californians with disabilities. So I can not do that Okay. Okay. Let's take it again. I ran out of Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> This is really exciting for me. <laughs> you no, no, I do not. I was very concerned if I lifted my hands up, I'd do this. <laughs> I'd like it to be. Oh. Yeah. No.